All right, so what I'm trying to show you here is a diorama that I'm going to be setting up at the uh, airship show, uh, the airship regatta, and also it's a, a big modeler show um, <clears throat> in Friedrichshaven. Uh, and what we have here is there is this village over here, and there is a factory over here. Uh, and the factory has uh, some cargo in those orange shipping containers, two of them stacked on top of each other, that needs to go to the village. And the village has cargo in those green shipping containers that needs to go to the factory. <clears throat> and we've got a uh, model uh, solar-powered airship that is going to be transporting the cargo back and forth. Um, the method in use uh, was inspired by a paper um, by Johannes Ising et al. Um, that was presented at the Deltas Conference in India in 2022. So yeah, it was inspired by that, um, and, I'll, and let me show you how that works. Okay, so here's how this works. We're going to go over to the factory town there, and we're going to drop off this evergreen, these two evergreen 40-foot uh, uh, containers. We're going to pick up that orange one. Okay, so I'm in kind of an enclosed space, a small space here, a garage. Um, and, whoops. and that makes things kind of difficult, mostly because I don't have a good starting vector. So, you know, in, in the actual show, I'll be able to <laughs> fly like a normal blimp and not be in hover mode the entire time. Uh, but maneuvering in hover mode is kind of difficult. <laughs> but anyway, the point is, <clears throat> all you have to do is you get the blimp to land somewhere in that section of space that is near the blue uh, guide, and then push up against it, and then move forward until, click, um, what has happened is that there are two little magnets in the uh, storage, in you know, the shipping containers, and they have attached to a little uh, a post at the end. So now that the now the airship is locked in place, if I were to try and move, you know, it doesn't really go anywhere, right? It's locked in place. <clears throat> and uh, the key to this uh, cargo sling load operations is, is what the uh, paper uh, was titled. Um, the key is the airship is always secured to either one load or the other, and so at no time is the airship uh, in danger of like floating away, basically. <clears throat> now I've done some modifications here. I have those two servos on the bottom, which have hooks attached to them. Uh, let me get you a close-up of that. Okay, so let me show you what we've got here. So, if I get a close-up of the cargo module, you can see that there's two servos attached to hooks. And there's one hook that's already engaged with the green evergreen containers. Uh, and then the other one is open and ready to snatch the, uh, the orange one. And just showing you, that's the airship up there. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's the connector to the cargo. And all I have to do is actuate this servo on the left-hand side. And it hooks in, and um, you know, and now that that cargo is secure. And then I release the other container, and it kind of bounces up a little bit. And normally at this point, I'd immediately take off, so I wouldn't be at risk of damaging these buildings. But uh, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to you know show you the, how that mechanism works. So it's very simple. It just has to be locked into place uh, so that the alignment is correct to pick up the other cargo. Okay, now of course at the actual airship regatta in Friedrichshaven, um, I these the village and the factory will be on tables 50 meters apart or something like that. Uh, so I'll have ample opportunity to get the correct vector when heading into the village, the correct vector and the correct speed. In this case, I'm in a tiny room, uh, at least it feels tiny. So um, I'm gonna have to just kind of toss it in the general direction and then get it into the landing field. Turn on this for a little bit. Okay, ease it in, ease it in. Okay, and let it bounce. 
Pull it a little bit. Okay. Orientate the airship better. And uh, the ground is pretty rough. That uh, grass, fake grass, it's pretty rough. <clears throat> now I should, I think, well, okay, I'm gonna slide over to the guide. There we go. Now I'm in contact with the guy that should be able to just go forward. Come on. Got that rough ground. There we go. And click. There we go. Right in position. All right. So now <clears throat> I just look at this thing. Need to make sure it's going to actually engage the hook. I think I got it. Take a closer look. Yep, I got it. Of course, you're going to want to verify that because you don't want to release the other cargo without, you know, without hooking the new cargo or you're going to have a flyaway airship and you're going to have to talk to the boys with the sticky balloon that uh, rescues your airship. Anyway, so I'll release the first one and off we go. And that's it. Now I can, you know, fly back to the other side. So that's how it works. Um, yeah, uh, I uh, hopefully will have some videos of this in operation. Um, I'll see you then.